welcome back to Endzone. Right now I am at the lab recording studios in Auckland, New Zealand with Sven and Ed from The Checks and this is where they recorded uh, their brand new album Alice by the Moon. Welcome to the show guys. Thank you. Now this album for you guys uh, is a slightly different affair where um, you actually produced it yourselves, right? Yep, that's right. We did it all ourselves. Yeah. It, that's kind of a scary thing to take on board or was it not for you at all? I think it would be scarier for a producer to have to work with us. Right. To be honest. Was it was it like that with hunting hunting whales? Uh, no, it's just kind of different. You have to be more mature and um, come up with a final decision yourself, as opposed to the producer usually gets like the executive call. Right. So, so, so previously, when when you say um, the producer gets an executive call, did you not really have any final say in, in how it sounded? Oh no, totally, but it's like if, if it comes to a point where you, you think it should go one way or another, they kind of, they can step in and go, no, I actually think it should go this way. Right. And it kind of helps the process. But this time we had to fight it out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I guess you would have. So, I mean, you were working with uh, Joel Mulholland, um, who many people would know from The Mots um, and also from Gasoline Cowboy. Um, what was he like to work, like, uh, work with as an engineer? He was awesome. Yeah, he... Um, provided that sixth voice so that we didn't um, kill each other. <laughs> and um, yeah, he was very, he had a lot of valuable things to say, musically and technically, so he was, he was an asset to the session. Mm -hmm. he, is, he is brilliant. I think he made it in the end. Like really, really helped us do whatever we wanted, you know. He was never, he never confined us to any one sound or anything. He was like always with the yes thing instead of with the let's not waste our time. So when, what do you look for in an engineer when you're, when you're uh, hunting for one? Skills to pay the bills. <laughs> Can you be more specific? <laughs> <laughs> Just like a good, the thing, the, the thing that Joel has over other engineers we've worked with is not only is he good at like the technical aspect of it, he's, uh, he has a musical ear from his other band, so he can tell you if you're out of tune or if your thing just is kind of like a whack musical idea. Yeah. As opposed to just saying, yes, the levels are right, you know. And he's very funny as well. He always helps. Yeah, and yeah, it does, huh? And um, yeah, it was cool hanging out with him. Mm. So Alice by the Moon, I mean, how long has this actually been uh, you know, in, in production? How long have you been working on the material for it and writing? Well, there was no like conscious start point. There's, I think it, the first song being written was Bagheera, which is the first track on the record. Yep. So um, that was that was just after Hunting Whales came out, and so that that dates back to ages ago. Mm -hmm. And then probably the last song we wrote, the last two songs were Hold My Head and Back of the Restaurant, which were written about two weeks or one week slash during while we're in here. So. Right. So yeah, um, I couldn't tell you specifically, really. It was just a work in progress, I guess you could say. Yeah, well, a lot of it we were on tour for right. a, um, a year there, so a lot of that stuff is written in hotel rooms and vans and stuff like that. Is the, is the material inspired by your experiences of being on tour? Uh, maybe not inspired by, but probably infused with the flavour of. That's a really good answer. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of like one of those um, two-minute noodles, I'll, I'll, I'll infuse it with the flavour. Yeah, I felt like I was on the Dilma ad for a second. <laughs> <laughs> Salon Finesty, <laughs> infused. <laughs> now, when the first time I saw you guys play live was, uh, how many years ago was it? I don't know when it was exactly, but it was in the morning at high school, at your high school. Ah, uh, breakfast oh, bus. The BFM was... breakfast bus. That was a long, that, that was, was a 2002. Long, long time ago. Two. So how old were you guys then? Um, 15, right 16. now I'm 23. Um, we were about 16. 16. So around 16, about 17 years. Six or seven years have passed since then. Do you feel more comfortable in, in your skin as a band now than you did then? Or did you feel when you were younger that you were able to take a few more risks? I think um, I think we've gone through through the mixer of different stages of what you can and can't, can't think, you know? Because I think the benefit of being around as long as we have, we've managed to see quite a lot of different stuff that I don't think you always get to see. We, we got to be a young band that didn't know anything, so mm. at that point you have like pure unbridled enthusiasm which you just 
there's no thinking of what you can and can't do. You just do what you can do, yeah. you know? <laughs> what you're like, able to do at the time. And then you go through phases of this and that. And I think, I don't know, where we're at and right now, we could, I think we feel like as though we could do anything, mm. you know? It's a good place to be. Yeah. Just any which thing is, is all right. So in support of the release of Alice by the Moon, you guys are going to be doing a few dates around the country. Um, when are they? Uh, we're doing uh, Napier on the 18th and we're doing at the Cabana and we're doing Bodega in Wellington on the 19th mm -hmm. and then we're doing Christchurch at the Ballroom on the 15th of July of July yes. yep and then um, we're doing uh, Dunedin on the 19th of July you get a gold star for remembering all those dates. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. But if you couldn't follow my rambling approach, you can see it on the MySpace site. Which is? Uh, www.myspace forward slash the checks. Cool. And there's also uh, your website, which is uh, thechecks.net. That's one, thechecks.net is yeah, our website. Yep. And if you want to buy tickets uh, for any of those shows, just head along to undertheradar.co.nz. Uh, so thank you so much for joining me today on the end zone and congratulations on the brand new album. It's called Alice by the Moon. Sven, can we get a bit of a, a close up on that? Hold up, so it's very pretty. Cheese. It's very pretty. Um, so make sure you go out and buy it and check out these guys on their tour. And right now we are going to uh, watch the first single from the album, which is called You're You and Me. me.